reviewing taste buzz in Dallas, Texas, but I'm not doing this alone. I have a guest. Yeah, what's up, y'all? <laughs> Chef Father Arthur, Dallas, Texas, very own court in the kitchen. All right, so boom, check it out. So I done kind of did this by accident, but like these lobster tacos is actually low calorie. So we got a Harold's and a DLW, so I had to pull up and see what's to it. I got y'all with a review. Everything is everything. I ain't ate nothing today, so I'm hungry as hell. <laughs> Spiral potato. So what you like about it? You bite into it, you know, you get hit with the sweetness and then like the spice from the jerk on the back end. And it's like, it ain't overly cheesy, where it's like a cheesy pull, it's just enough. If I had to like nitpick something, I do wish the chips were a little bit more crispy, but- I can see that. With all the sausage shit on here, I mean, it's all right. What we rating it? This, I don't know. I give it a nine. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do eight, eight. All right, we got the fried chicken with the, uh, you say this is the mild sauce, right? Yeah. This is, okay. this is all right too. Talk to me, what we talking about? He actually, boy, they season the hell out of this chicken. You know what I'm saying? You actually get flavor from the crust and everything like that. Let me ask you a question, without the sauce, what we talking about? Without the sauce on these, I would still get a chicken like an eight, like it still got flavor. I think without sauce, I'm gonna go seven, eight. Now with the sauce though. Mmm. I'm gonna go back to 8-8 eight, eight with the sauce. That's what y'all say, that's about, yeah, that's about. I go back. All right, we got the rice bowl we're gonna try next. Mm. I see what he did, but I also see what he didn't do. What do you like about it? Um, ooh. If you would've had some vegetables in it, like some little bell peppers maybe, but that's just me. I like bell peppers in a lot. Fair enough. Bell peppers in a lot. So for one, the yellow rice, dope. Got the cheese at the bottom too, I like that. The sauce is sweet, I like that. But I will say, what's, what's, what's me up right now is yeah. the goddamn chicken. The chicken is dry as no cow. What you, uh, what you rating it? I guess it's like an eight. Due to the chicken being dry as I, I gotta give him a seven two for that. Next we got pizza, y'all. All right. Hey. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. I looked up y'all, so oh my God, look yeah. at this. Hey, look, you ain't here eating, yo. I feel it look like the dude that be on social media going to different places, getting different food, yeah. and, try, and trying them out. Yeah. So y'all got all different kinds of shit. That is me, though. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. I like you too. <laughs> you still ain't good. Hmm. Flavor on this is real good. Like, it's real good. Cheese sauce is fine, but if I had some of the cheese on the top of this motherfucker, like a little cheese pool. Like Parmesan, you talking about, or are you talking about just like melted like, cheese? Maybe a little more mozzarella. Mmm, mozzi, mozzi, mozzi. He doesn't use tomato sauce with this. He uses some type of, I want to say this is jerk sauce on here. I could be wrong though. I'm not really a fan of the dough, nor am I a fan of how overcooked it is. Pieces overall, I'll probably do them like five, seven point five. You had the shrimp pizza, I had the chicken. Mine was a little bit overcooked. I'm gonna give it a six five. Next we got the jerk chicken pasta. Pasta probably would be like my least favorite of everything that I've had so far. For sure. Uh, it definitely could have been seasoned a lot more. Could have gave me some more sauce in this bitch. This is definitely, without a doubt, without question, the, uh, the middest that I've had so far, for sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> so we'll be rating it. I get this like, uh, like 6.8. <laughs> 6 Ooh, but you nice. I'm gonna go four on this one, bro. I, I, I just ain't, I ain't I, I'm simply not feeling it. Season with the soul, November 2021. Mm -hmm. Kitchen culture, December 2022. November 2022. What was some of the challenges you faced, or have you faced being a chef? With, with being a chef, I would say finding my own lane. You know, I started off doing plates, and that's a whole story in itself. Damn near had a panic attack trying to do plates for the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, tried doing meal preps. Quickly learned, like, dealing with people and they bullshit is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Really, the, the other hardest thing with doing a cookbook, though, is, like, measurements. I just see it from the heart. That's you know a good what I'm one. Saying? Trying to get it to where That's how like, black folks do. We just, we just, boom. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll say that probably be the most difficult part of it. Now we got the chicken Philly cheesesteak. I ain't had a feeling in a minute, so I'm not sure if you're supposed to have mayo on it or not. If we would have had a little bit of mayo on this, I would like just to break up the, the salt and cheese. That yes, would have been I nice agree. for me. That would have been agree. nice for me. As far as the sandwich itself, it's good, but it's a little salty. I would say that's fair. I give it like a, I give it like a six eight. You went six eight. I'm gonna go six five. May. 2022, May 22nd, your son was born? Damn. <laughs> yeah. You cut the cord. Let go of a prayer for you. So everybody that doesn't have a child, how did it feel when you cut the cord? I ain't gonna lie, I kind of cried a little bit though. After I cut the cord, I was like, damn, this really me. Right? You. It's a beautiful thing. You'll never love anything more than your own child. For sure. Anything. I can respect that. You got kids yourself? Not that I know of. We got some lemonade, y'all. 
You should have drank this first too. You should have drank it first. <laughs> hey. Do you remember your first Instagram video? Um, yeah, yeah, I did. What shrimp, was it? it was shrimp and grits. No way. Yeah, I know. I already did. Oh. <laughs> Like I seen the French toast chicken sandwich. Oh, the fr oh, yeah. All right, so boom, I'm gonna show you how I got here with this French toast. Down south. Like, yo, what made you do that? I think I might have been high or something like that. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a good ass high meal, you know what I'm saying? So after yeah. you. I really don't remember like that, though. All right, Corner Kids, appreciate your time. Appreciate you coming and collabing with me. Is there anything you want your fans, anybody out there that's watching this video, to know? You have anything coming up? Any okay. special projects? Any books? Things to come. Uh, we got seasonings in the works, and also my group, the Kitchen Crew. Uh, so what we'll be doing cooking classes two times a month. We giving away prizes in there. You know, we'll have different <laughs> cooking competitions and stuff like that. So then also hit the channels, Court in the Kitchen on everything: YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, oh, and now Threads too. Ooh, sounds good, bro. Absolutely appreciate yes, you. Sir.